Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Ever Crisis and Rebirth will be coming out sometime next year and I thought of making a special video about a young Sephiroth and his relationship with Hojo. When we saw the end of the Ever Crisis trailer there was a glimpse of a younger Sephiroth in the fire. His armor and even his face expression were similar. What are the creators trying to tell us about him? Did he always have murderous intentions ever since he was a kid and what did he know about Hojo and his plans? Keep in mind there will be spoilers so you've been warned. Remember that if you enjoyed this video consider smashing that like and subscribe button to help me stay alive. With that said let's continue. Now let's get straight to the point. In the original FF7 when Avalanche went to go stop Hojo from giving energy to Sephiroth he told us that he himself is his father. When I heard this many years ago I was shocked out of my mind. How could that dude produce such a different being of that stature? But in the past some fans thought Vincent was his father because they had similar physical features and even personality. What's What's interesting is Vincent was in love with Sephiroth's mother Lucrecia. After confessing to her she rejected him and chose to be with Hojo. She was later pregnant and the couple decided to inject the embryo with Genova cells which later produced Sephiroth. After giving birth she left and stayed at the crystal cave where she would have visions of him. Near the end of the original FF7 Hojo was talking with Avalanche and revealed that Sephiroth didn't know about who his real parents are. When he went to Nibelheim for a mission he went in into the mansion that was used by Hojo and only read the documents that were produced by Dr. Gast. I'm thinking that information was purposely there for Sephiroth to see so that Hojo can witness what his son will do next. It's really hard to say if the Nibelheim mission was orchestrated by Hojo in an attempt to see Sephiroth's reaction. If he still sees him as an experiment, was this part of his plan or was just a big mistake? Was he helping Sephiroth as a parental figure or was this part of his experiment? Who knows? My theory is Sephiroth already knew that Hojo was his father but did not know about the experimentation part. He already felt different growing up and probably tried to find answers. After all he and Jill and Genesis were troublemakers as kids so they must have found out many problems in Shinra. Who knows Hojo could have told him his mother Genova died during childbirth and his purpose is to be part of Soldier. In Crisis Core when Zack asked if he had a family Sephiroth started laughing hysterically when he was about to mention his father. Father. It really felt like he was embarrassed to share that information because he knows that Hojo is a sociopath or a creep. Perhaps during his Shinra days he was always criticized because of who his father was. Genesis even told Sephiroth if he even thought about who his mother was, which kind of implies that he did know his father. So by that logic you can assume that while he was in Shinra, he must have found out about his father either from a high ranking officer or Hojo himself. But what do you think would happen if he doesn't know at all? and in Rebirth he finds out. Do you think he would kill Hojo and search for Lucrecia? Or just not care at all because he's already so deep in his delusions. When they make an FF7 based on Sephiroth, they will definitely tell us about his upbringing and what kind of fighter he was. In the first Soldier trailer, there was a character that resembled him, but it was later confirmed that it was someone else. I have a feeling a few of the characters in First Soldier met Sephiroth while he was young. Maybe Square can add extra material that would explain their relationship. One thing that that's been on my mind lately is if ever Crisis will be released on consoles. I covered this in a video right here if you're interested. Anyways that's all I have for today. See ya!